Hello, welcome. We will be talking about protective tariffs. Today we have invited four special guests, McDonald's, an anti-tariff speaker from USA, a pro-tariff speaker from Canada, and just a beaver from Manitoba. Can we please welcome McDonald's? Hello, Cobra Minfrey. The way your eyes glisten in the sun. There is no sun in here. Oh. Did you bring the Big Mac? What Big Mac? Oh, for this. Now can we please welcome the anti-tariff and pro-tariff speakers. Hello. Hello everyone. Thank you very much. What are they doing? You can sit down now. Now can we please invite just a beaver from Manitoba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, settle down, settle down, settle down. <laughs> settle down. We need to get to the serious business about protective tariffs. So who enforced these protective tariffs? Well, obviously me, because I'm the only one that could have thought of such a brilliant idea, you know. What a brilliant man. With these protective tariffs, the Canadian economy will improve and will create more jobs. Oh, you brilliant? Are you even aware of what creating new jobs can cost? No, please tell us. It causes Canadian industry to have a chance to develop. It does, but it also gives way too much employment. That's what brings more people into the country, right? Yes, you are correct, but the only thing is that if you gain men, too many people, too many factors will be made, and with more factors that could lead to a spread of disease. That's true, but the protective tariffs could help those infant industries to develop without competition from large ma manufacturers in Britain and the U.S. <laughs> See, possibly the American manufacturers could put our Canadian companies out of business if it's not developed. So what might you suggest to help the economy? For, for one, Canada is way too dependent on the sales of products, which in the past, when demand for those products went down for our Canadian economy. So what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that Canada needs to become more independent for other countries. Maybe we can sell more of our, of our own raw materials to manufacture inside the country. So what do you think that would do? I know we should put high tariffs so that we would make goods from the United States very expensive. Yes, I think we should because then Canadians would trade with other Canadians instead of with the Americans. And if the American goods have high tariffs, that would encourage that. No way, goods made in Canada cost more than goods made in the USA. And they should say that. I think that the problem is just that the tariff made goods from other countries more expensive than Canadians good. Now we have two commercials brought to you by Cobra Mintry. Does your boyfriend have bad breath? Yes. Is this God? Is this God? Is this God? Well then just give him a mint. No mint. I'm Cobra Mintry and I approve this message. Do not get any mint. What Only gum. <laughs> Here's a note to take. Protective tariffs are high taxes on imported goods to protect Canada manufacturers. Next week, we will be talking about the Transcontinental Railroad. Now, last but not least, Just a Beaver. Just a Beaver. Just a Beaver. What's up, my homies? Okay, no, stop it. No, play again. Okay, that's for it. For you, Shinoya. <laughs> oh, we can't believe you have a chance. You're killing me, Ronnie. You're hot. It's embarrassing me. Yes, you are correct, but the only thing is that if you gain too many people, the factor is is made by blah blah blah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Does your boyfriend have bad breath? <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? That's a blooper, that's a blooper. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? Okay. Okay, ready? Let's start again.